Minimum effort, maximum reward. Ladies, welcome to the Daddy Academy. Okay, a man will always try to get the maximum out of you, which is sexy time, with the minimum amount of effort possible. So if all he has to do is set dates or just hookups or whatever, if you're going over to his house, I don't know what you're doing. But if all he has to do is set those dates and he's getting what he wants and he doesn't have to communicate with you outside of that, then why wouldn't he do it? If you could have 10 girls that he's doing that with, he'll get away with it. If he can get away with it, he's gonna do it. Super important. So this guy right here is really talking about like the top 10% Chad and Tyrone's that, cause he's saying, oh, he's probably talking this and most guy, you know, this guy, most guys don't have the ability to talk to more than one or two women at a time because they don't have that many prospects that are coming towards them. Right. Uh, but more to the point, let's see what else he talked about. He, he said, um, let me see, go back to you. But if all he has to do is set those dates. Oh yeah. So he says, okay, so. If all he has to do is just set up the date for you guys to connect, but he's not trying to talk to you outside of those dates, then that's bare minimum effort. Again, guys on this platform, how many times have you reached out to a girl after the date? Like, like as soon as the date's over, you hit her up. Hey, I got home safe. Hope you had a good night. The next day, hey, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I want to take you out again tomorrow night, blah, 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 blah. And then it just burns out. So again, I just found that talking to women consistently between dates didn't work in my favor. I did find though that saving those conversations for when I could get them on an actual date where they could hear me, where my words wouldn't be misconstrued, where they could you know, hear the tonality of my voice and I could get a good laugh from her and I could touch her and feel her, that those kind of dates and those kind of communications resulted in them feeling affection for me a lot faster, which resulted in me getting hookups. This guy's saying, if all he's, setting, if all he's doing is setting up dates and then you're going on dates with them, and then you're also having hookups. Well, that's not enough communication. And then a guy's gonna see this and say, see, Harry, you're wrong. This guy said that I need to communicate more. You can do that. Go ahead and try to communicate with the girl more so than you are now and see if it keeps her interest. Again, I have found more often than not it doesn't, but hey, maybe I'm an outlier. Maybe I'm crazy for teaching this stuff and you need to go try that out and just try talking. But I have done the thing of texting a girl every day, emailing her every day, FaceTiming her often, and more often than not, I found that that made their feelings go away faster. When I was not doing that stuff, I found that feelings would go up higher and that they would be reaching out to me more, which means I never had to worry about rejection because they were chasing me. And I'm still, and dude, as a guy, you are still doing your part. Don't be fooled by this guy. You are still doing your part if you're only, if you're waiting every four days or so to reach out to her to ask her on a date. Because even if a woman is like feeling, I wish you would text me more. The reality is the other part of her brain is going, but wait, so he's not texting me a lot, but also he's, when he does text me, he's asking me out. He's giving me all the attention on these dates. He's listening to me. He's being attentive. He's taking me to really cool places. We're kissing, we're making out, we're hooking up. He's giving me all the affection when I'm with him. So it's only when I, when I'm between dates that I don't hear from him. And that's because I really, I really just want to see him. But like, is he actually doing anything wrong? And I find most women, they'll come to the conclusion like, oh, in person, he's doing all the stuff. So maybe I'll have a conversation about how much he texts. But overall, I, I'm still feeling the feels for him. And so that's probably really why I'm so I'm so um, wanting of his attention because I just really like him so much. Th that makes them call themselves out on that. So this guy is saying he's not doing enough to do more. Again, in this case, you doing the bare minimum is totally fine. Uh, I'll answer that question after I get through all this stuff. Uh, okay, so continuing on with this thing. So he's getting what he wants and he doesn't have to communicate with you outside of that then why wouldn't he do it? If you could have 10 girls that he's doing that with, he'll get away with it. If he can get away with it, he's gonna do it. It's super important that there is some level of consistent communication outside of those dates or those hookups, right? If he now, he gets half this wrong. He's saying there needs to be consistent uh, communication between these dates. Again, as a guy I've just found, it doesn't typically work. But the consistency thing is, is key, right? Because as I've said on the show before, whatever you set up early on in the dating process, that's what the woman's going to expect of you, good or bad. If you start off texting a whole lot and then you try to die down, that's going to look suspicious. Even if she doesn't like it, she's going to think he's not being the same as he was before. That's weird. And she'll probably lose interest. Whereas if you do what I say, which is, you know, if, if, even if you meet her on a dating app, you do minimal texting to get to know her just a little bit. Then you ask her on the date. At that point, your initiating of texting should, should be confined to when you're asking her on dates. Even if she starts... Even if she says in the beginning, like, I wish you would text me, blah, 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 blah. I have found that if you are consistent in your level of low, in your low level of texting, 
that women will eventually get used to that. And then they'll tell their girlfriends, he's just not a big texter, but trust me, when we go out, he's all about me. And that's what you want. You want to set the expectation that you're not going to be texting a whole lot. I tell women, for example, on date one, hey, just, you know, I'm not really a big texter. Like, you know, obviously we have this date and, you know, if you don't hear from me, it's not that I don't like you. It just means that I have other things going on and that I just, I, I typically save more conversations for dates. I like being able to talk to you when you're pretty face when you're in front of me, you know? And I'll say that, they'll get a little laugh. And then, you know what happens? I don't get pestered about not texting anymore. Funny how that works, right? So again, I keep my, my effort very, very minimum because again, they have not earned the right to hear more from me. And women mostly understand that. The ones that don't, I find they typically tend to be women that are also needy and desperate, just like men can be. Women can be that way too. And they end up being a bit harder to date. So don't feel bad about not trying to send a huge amount of text. All the women that I that I know in my life that are friends of mine, that have either gone on to date a guy or have had really high crushes on guys were all guys that weren't texting them as much as they thought they wanted because it builds attraction. It, look, it's, if it worked differently, I would tell you guys, guy, guy, text her all the time. And that, cause, cause women like communication. If you communicate all the time, you're going to be able to attract her. I just found that's not true. So I don't try to trick you guys into thinking that's what's going to happen. He's not communicating with you at all. That's a problem. Okay, there needs doesn't have to be blowing you up every day, but there needs to be some steady communication that over time is ramping up. So yeah, you're seeing each other, you're you're dating, but he's not pursuing you to be in a relationship. And that's a lot because you asking her on a date every so often is you pursuing. He's thinking pursue because guys have this messed up idea of like pursuing means you can chase the girl and you need to like bombard her with all the texts, all the calls, all the attention in the beginning. And that is going over the bare minimum, but that amount of uh, effort that you're putting forth is unwarranted. In the beginning, it's fine if you're seeing her and two or three other people, which means your attention is gonna be spread out anyway. Women have a general understanding that that's probably what's happening. But more importantly, they want that to be happening. They like the thought and idea that you are a guy that other women want. She wants to be the one to win you over, but there could be no contest if she's thinking, oh, yeah, I totally have him. He has no other prospects. Like women don't like the thought of you as a guy having no other prospects because all they start thinking is, why doesn't he have other prospects? Is something wrong with him? Other girls are not vouching for this guy. That is a problem. So no, you shouldn't be giving maximum effort also because it makes her think you have nothing else going on, including potentially having other women to date. And that's going to cause her to lose interest. I wish it wasn't that way. I just found that typically tends to be the case. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man.